Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. So, whew, look at this face. <laughs> oh, the light is a little bit bright in my viewfinder, so I don't know how it's going to be outside. Like I said, I'm still trying to work on the lighting situation here, and I'll get it worked out one of these days. But I thought I would do a get ready with me today. Um, I'm going to film my Avon Campaign 8 video today, and I thought, you know, I'll just... Um, so I'm going to get ready with me while I get ready to do the makeup <laughs> or to do the video. So uh, that's why I'm appearing in all my red-faced and, and, and clear eyebrow glory here. Um, so yeah, I do have on that Felicity cardigan. And actually, I wore it with, I don't know if you can see. I don't know. Let me see. I wore it with the green cami underneath. I thought the green cami looked really cute. I'm not trying to show you my 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 girls or anything <laughs> but I thought I would try it with the green cami I also have a blue cami that I think I'll wear it with too but I'm gonna kind of pull the collar away because I don't want to get any makeup on it so so I'm gonna go ahead I do have a mirror right off here to my right side so um I should have to use the viewfinder for uh to do the makeup in but in case I do keep looking that way forgive me I'm sorry it's kind of hard not to there goes my dog. So um, I'm going to get started with the Magic's Face Perfector here. I do use this sometimes. Um, usually when I do use it now, though, I found a way to make it work for me. Um, this is not an Avon product, but I have the um, Smashbox Primer Water. And I like this, but it doesn't provide me with everything I need and I feel the same way about the magics so I tried putting them together and they work really well so I've already misted my face with the primer water and now I'm going to go ahead and put the uh, magics face perfecter on it has SPF of 20 in it which is always nice to have so just put out a little bit of that It just kind of, on its own, it doesn't really help me um, with my pores, you know, covering them as well as I would like. Um, but together with that primer, and that's kind of how I feel about the primer water also. It doesn't, you know, do everything as well as I would like. So I was like, oh, why don't I put them together and see how it goes? And it seems to be pretty, pretty good. I might get a little bit more. Just for I don't need a lot of coverage mostly it's just like in my t-zone and then right here around my uh, cheeks on the inner part I get um, you can see my pores and I can get oily sometimes but lately I have been dry again so I did use a sheet mask before I made this video so if I look a little bit bright like shiny that's why I um I did a sheet mask this morning because I've been really dry around my hairline and just I don't know I my skin's weird I think it's hormonal to be honest with you because I'm gonna be 48 in let's see today's Wednesday five days <laughs> I'm gonna be 48 so I am perimenopausal and I'm getting to be that age where you just you know your, your skin changes so um, I'm gonna use my true color ideal uh, nude liquid foundation in the color shell now this is a matte foundation and I don't know I think I'm gonna try the ideal flawless or whatever that's called um I'm looking for a brush over here I'm yeah I think I'm gonna try that because I just don't right now matte foundations are not the best thing for me but this is the only um Avon foundation that I currently have yeah, it's a shade in shell. And this is like a light to medium kind of coverage. And I have a lot of redness, like in my cheeks. You know, you can see that red, red ruddiness. It's my, it's my um, Celtic heritage. <laughs> my Irish Scottish coming through there. So I'm just going to go ahead and blend that in I was thinking about doing um, a skincare routine video where I actually do it in real time I know a while ago I did one um, where I told you guys what I use but I thought about actually just doing like a real time one maybe that's like 20 minutes to a half an hour long so you could see my whole process 
I don't know. Let me know if that's something you would be interested in seeing. I might put a little bit more just on the inside of my cheeks. But it's hard because this is a matte foundation and um, if you put too much on to get the coverage, then then I don't want it to look cakey. Now in the summertime, like last summer, when I really liked this foundation a lot. I, I really liked it. But this winter, it's just I've been too dry. So hopefully... As we move into spring more, my dryness will go away. I mean, I don't want to be oily again like I used to be, but it would be nice to just have like a normal skin tone. I'm going to try to keep this one. Well, my camera will shut off at 32 minutes, so obviously I can't go much longer than that. And then I'm going to use this concealer is, you know, my regular concealer that I always use the Ideal Nude Cream Concealer in Fair. I always put like more pats on the right side because the left side gets the most product since I use that side first. Isn't it funny how we have our own... Um, like habits for when we use our makeup. At least the sun's out today. We haven't had any sun in, I don't know, a while. It feels like forever. So I'm going to use the contouring stick. Now I did a video with this and um, the highlighting powder and something happened. I did it when I did my Campaign 7 video and it disappeared somehow. I don't know what happened. It glitched. The other videos uploaded fine, but this one, it couldn't, like the camera wasn't, the computer wasn't recognizing it on the camera. It was really strange. That's never happened to me in all this time. So I do have it in the, in the shade uh, light. So I'm going to go ahead and just do a quick contour, kind of like the way they show in the brochure with the photograph. I'm not a contouring expert. Please do not leave a comment telling me that I'm doing it wrong because I don't care. <laughs> so I'm going to go ahead. This is so easy to use though. I mean, seriously, it is. Now I try to make my nose thinner because I have a really broad nose. But it's basically like a giant crayon, you know, you just kind of color it where you want it to go. And the reason why it might seem like I'm using a lot is because this blends really easy. And I almost think I should have got the medium stick instead of the light. So probably before summer I will be picking up the medium definitely. I'm not going to use it on my jawline because, well, I guess I could try it. I never did that before. So we'll see. That's not even even. That's because my jawline isn't even. For my rheumatoid arthritis, I have a crooked jaw. So now I'm going to use the light side and I'm going to go over my eyebrows in the middle of my forehead down the center of my nose, Cupid's bow, chin, here. I'm not using it under my eyes exactly because I feel like that concealer is brightening enough on its own so that I don't need to do that. Now you can use your fingers to blend it in, but I've been using um, my foundation brush after I get done. Uh, now I do blend in like the light parts pretty much with just my finger. I'm gonna hair going down.
I forgot to pull out my eyeshadow primer. I just realized that. I have to grab it. Because I can't stand to not use eyeshadow primer. <laughs> I have a feeling this will go over the 32 minutes. My camera shuts off automatically at 32 and it will pick itself right back up again. Okay, so now I'm going to use my brush to blend to blend this out. Kind of taking it back into my hairline and over to the middle. It's just, it's really creamy and it blends really easily. I don't know if you can see how, I mean it blends away really, really well. Now I kind of don't blend this part as much because I want it to show a little bit. I don't want to blend it away to nothing. Let's try doing that jawline. And the nose. So yeah, I'm not an expert, <laughs> but uh, you know, whatever. So now I'm going to use my Avon uh, loose powder, and I thought I had it in translucent, but actually it's the color nude. Looking for my fluffy brush, and I don't have a lot of Avon brushes, so I just use, to be honest with you, most of my brushes are e.l.f. brand. Got some in the lid here. A little bit more than I wanted, actually. Sometimes I use a setting powder, an under eye setting powder, but I have to open up a new one and I just haven't gotten around to doing that yet. And I use the one from e.l.f., but I have some from Besame that's just um, like a regular setting powder and I also like that for under the eye. I got that uh, quite a while ago in a um, holiday kit. Okay, so now we are set with our loose powder. And I'm just a loose powder person. I really like that when possible. Um, all right, I got a blush. I grabbed it. It's the um, Blush in Warm Flush. And actually, I'm going to use the highlighter too, and I don't need them both together, but this is one of my favorite blushes. It's very glowy, so you really don't need a highlighter with it, but... For the sake of today, we're going to go ahead and do that anyways. So I'm really going to be glowy. <laughs> and I've just got a flush, fluffy brush here. I think I've been putting my blush too low. Like I have it down here almost sometimes and I realize that I'm like, you need to put that up a little bit higher. So I'm going to try to make effort to do that. I just have such a ruddy face as it is. I think this is like a real technique, real techniques brush. Okay, put that back. Now the highlighting powder is the new, it was new, it came out in campaign seven. It's called the moonlit powder. And I have it in 
the quartz shade. So it's like a golden peach. It's really, really shimmery. Like I said, with this blush, I probably don't need it, but I'm going to go ahead and do it anyways just for the purpose of showing it in the video. But it's really pretty. <laughs> it's really, really pretty. The other shade, Topaz, was just a little bit too deep for me. But I hope this show is going on. Can you see that? Is it picking up? Oh, I think it's really, really pretty. It's so funny, you guys, because we have our Avon meetings at this restaurant uh, called Leon's here. <laughs> and they have like, I don't know what kind of lighting they have, but it's really funny because they have these mirrors everywhere. And when I go in there, it's the perfect lighting to pick up a highlight. So when I'm, <laughs> so like I'm going over to our table or whatever, and I'm always like, oh, that highlight. Oh, <laughs> you know, I don't know. It's just really pretty, really, really, really pretty. So that is the highlight. Moonlit powder in taupe, no, quartz, sorry. Okay, next I need to do, I need my eyebrows, or my primer, so hold on, let me grab my makeup bag, it's right over here. Get it, because it weighs a ton. Okay, hope I didn't show you my big dupa too much. So, yeah, this is my makeup bag. Not that I have all my makeup in here. This is just a makeup I'm currently working out of. <laughs> and then I move it around. So I had to get my eyeshadow primer out of there. Alright, I guess I'll zoom in a little bit for eyes when I get to that point. But first I'm going to put the primer on. So I use the um, light beige, which you guys have seen before. And again, if you're new to my channel, I do have rheumatoid arthritis in my hands. That's why they look so weird. And I'm not flipping you off. That's just the only finger I have that's straight to work with. My hair's kind of crazy. I just, I didn't wash it today because I, I got it colored uh, yesterday. And so today I didn't wash it. I just put it up really quick. Before I do my campaign 8 video, I'm going to try to do something with it, maybe. We'll see. So. Alright. Now. That's the blush. So I'm using the um, quad in Mocha Latte. I showed it in my last, like, a haul video or whatever. It's new to me, but it's really nice. It's just like your basic browns. But it's a really, really nice a little neutral quad to work with and I found all of the shades to be really really nice I especially like that number three shimmer shade um, it's really pretty on the lid and two and four are matte I think one is kind of like a satin but it's basically close to a matte it's just got a little hint of sh not really shimmer just a sheen about it so I would consider that to be you know, like a satin finish. And I'm not going to do anything fancy. This is just something I would throw on my face for every day. Let me go ahead and zoom just a little. I want to do that without knocking the camera over. So I'm precarious today. Okay. Whew. Up close and personal. <laughs> All right. So I'm going to go ahead and go into the, um, the number two shade, which is this matte one right here. I'm using a big fluffy like blending brush and I'm just going to put it all over what I would consider like the transition area. Again, this is not a makeup tutorial. This is not me telling you this is how to put on eyeshadow. This is me just showing you how I do my thing every day. Or every day that I feel like wearing makeup anyways. People like these types of videos, and I'm always a little bit uncomfortable doing them just because I don't want anybody to think that I'm like, oh, I know everything about makeup, because I don't. I just know what I, you know, how I like to do it, and I don't know. So I'm always afraid I'm going to get, like, nasty comments or whatever, but you know what? You get nasty comments for just breathing, basically, so I don't know. I just delete them, right? That's all you can do. Just delete them. But I'm lucky. Um, for the most part, my sub my subscribers are really, really, really nice. Like, really supportive. 
And I'm always excited that my channel grows, you know, like it's not a big channel. I have not quite 3,000 subscribers yet, but you know, I love that it grows and that new people find my content, but I'm always a little nervous at the same time because it exposes you to more and more of the nasty people. So I just keep waiting like one of these days to get those people that are like, you suck, you're ugly, you're too fat, why don't you crawl in a hole and die? You know, because there's always going to be those people. Some person, and I'm not going to name her name, but she probably, well, she, I don't know if she'll watch this video or not. She's a subscriber and I talk to her frequently and she is someone I would consider, you know, a friend. She has a YouTube channel or had a YouTube channel. And she told me one time that somebody said to her, you're so fat, I hope you die. And I'm like, actually, I laughed when she t said that. Not because I think it's funny. I'm going in with that number. Actually, now I'm going to use the number four shade, this darker one right here. Not because I think that's funny, because I absolutely do not think that that's funny. But I'm just going into the crease here. But I think it's funny that it's it's almost absurd. Like, it's funny because it's so absurd that somebody would actually be that rotten, you know, and say something that ridiculous. I mean, it, it just, I don't know, I guess it shocked me that somebody would be so ridiculous, you know? I don't know. I don't know. So... Yeah, people are just, can be so nasty on YouTube and Facebook. And you know, since we're just chatting here, I actually unfriended somebody today on Facebook. And it doesn't, it's nobody in the coloring community. It's nobody in my Avon community. It's somebody that has been on my Facebook since the beginning. And it's somebody that I used to talk to on the internet um, on a message board before I even, you know, began all this YouTube stuff. But they just, they're always posting stuff that makes me mad. <laughs> and it's okay to have other opinions. Like, it's more than okay to have different opinions. But there comes a point, I think, when you have to realize you're scrolling through your Facebook feed every day. Why do you have to subject yourself to something that's just going to upset you every day? You know, like, why? There's no point in that. I have enough challenges in my life as it is without things that make me feel even worse. Does that make any sense? You know what I mean? Like, why look for things to upset me when there's already enough? Look at me going on. Going on my way. Talking and talking. Uh, that just happened right before I sat down to make this video. So it, the motion of it is still fresh. Like, I finally had decided I've had enough. Enough is enough. I'm done with this person. And so, and like I said, they've been an acquaintance of mine. Only through the internet, though. Uh for years and years and it's like I really I don't feel good about it but I felt like it's something I had to do I feel like I have a little bit of fallout here so I'm gonna and then I'm gonna blend out that uh line here I didn't mean to turn this get ready with me into a big venting session. <laughs> That's not my intention. But like I said, that just happened before I sat down to do this video and it. So it's like really fresh and still a tad emotional from it. Yeah, this is definitely going to go into a part two, especially when I get to my eyebrows because I'm a pokey pokey when it comes to my eyebrows. They need to be trimmed. They're like super long. Okay. As far as I can tell, that's basically even. It's kind of hard to get the lighting just right. I need, I need a drink of water. Hold on. Okay. So now I'm going to go into that shimmery number three shade. And it's kind of like a bronzy golden color. I think it's really, really pretty. I'm just picking up a little bit on a C brush here that I get from e.l.f. I love these C brushes. They're only like a dollar. Well, I haven't bought any in a really long time, so I couldn't tell you. But last time I bought them, they were only a dollar. And you can get them everywhere, like CBS or Rite Aid. You know, any place that sells, Walmart sells e.l.f., any place. 
I just think it's a really pretty color for the lid. I really like that. I think it's beautiful. So I told you guys before I've been kind of like uh, goofing around with false lashes and stuff. So eventually I'll probably wear them in a video. I just, uh, I'm not exactly confident with the application yet to do that. I got eye boogers. Got to get those out. Don't you love it when you get your eye boogers coming on when you're doing your makeup? They're so gross. Eye boogery, eye boogery. I'm going to take that number four shade and I'm going to put a little bit on the outer area here just to define. And kind of up into the corner area of that crease and then I'll blend that out again. And then I'm going to go back in to the number three and just help that blend a little bit more. Actually, this setup is really easy for um, doing these kind of makeup videos. My other setup in the bathroom. I didn't have very much space to work with. Uh, I was using a, a jewelry armoire as my base, and it was a good sized armoire. I'm going to blend that out a little bit. It was a good sized armoire, but I didn't have a lot of space for the mirror and all my products and to keep them from rolling around and everything. So this, I think, is a little bit easier to do these types of videos, which is kind of nice because now I can do more of them. Because like I said, people always ask for them and they say they enjoy watching them and I just always feel like a dork when I do it. But All right. And then I'm going to put on um, this number one shade. Now normally I would do my brows first and then I'd go back in and do the highlight shade. I'm looking for my brush that I like to use for my brows or for the highlight. Um, I'm going to use the number one shade under my eyebrow and on the inner corners, but I'm going to make a part two. So we'll do, we'll stop after I do this. So this is going to go up here. Like, like I said, usually I would have my brows done by this point. My brows are hideous. See, there's just enough sheen in this to make it not be, you know, it's more of a satin than anything else. I'm just kind of blending around there. Now, I also always put some in here because I get really dark in that area. So I like to brighten up those inner corners where the shadows are. And I'm kind of like blue tinted there. <coughs> Excuse me. And then sometimes I take a little bit and I run it right here. Just right here. Because sometimes like I go out of the area. I'm not so precise. Now I actually see <coughs> in some videos women take tape and they put it right here. So it makes a sharp edge. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm not all about that. I'm not that. I don't care <laughs> that much. I mean, if I was getting done up for a certain event or something, I would try as hard as I could to be, like, really, really precise. Okay. I'm going to make a part two because it's we're at 20, almost 30 minutes, and it's going to shut off at 32. So when, when we come back, we'll do a uh, liner brows, mascara, and lips. All right, so stay tuned, you guys. I'll be back in a minute or a half an hour or however long it takes to upload part two. <laughs> All right.